In today's video, Today we are going to give my living room a little refresh for spring. I was feeling some new decorating items and just getting everything really nice and cleaned for this next season. So the first thing I'm going to do is cover up these spots on the wall. I have three of them to do. So our house is a new build and at the one year mark, the builder will come out and fix any spots that you point out. So that is what happened here. They had to fix like a bump in the wall. And after they did that, they just painted the wall the color that the house was originally painted, which was Sherwin-Williams Natural Choice. Now, I didn't have a say in that. That's just what they paint all the houses here but it was a creamy kind of tan color and it was a flat finish well if you have ever had flat paint in your house the scuff marks do not come out of it well any little mark on it stays so i have been painting over the entire house sherwin williams pure white and a matte finish so it has just a little bit more sheen but not a ton and so I just needed to go through the spaces in my living room and dining area and cover up these spots with the pure white color that I've been using. As you can see on the other side, I started with a brush, but it is always better to use a roller. So I used a mini roller here. I do use a brush by the ceiling. I have painted many homes and lots of walls in the last 12 or 15 years of my life. So I'm pretty much a pro at this point in painting. Honestly, I'm getting a little tired of it. But these spots only took two coats each, so I did one coat and let them dry. So you'll see a few clips of that, but I won't bore you with all of the painting. I will say though, it is crazy how much of a difference having that spot on the wall is. It just makes the space feel very incomplete and like something is wrong. So it feels so much better to just take the time and get these all painted over. We do have nine foot ceilings on this main level, so I usually need to get out a ladder when I need to paint up high like this. Now let's do a little cleaning. So we love to play games, so I had a few games on the floor. Honestly, I've just kind of let the living room go a little bit. I know it doesn't look like it, but I have been playing around with decor items and just leaving them there and not taking care of them. I also am going to take the time to get rid of some of these blankets that I've just had in this basket. I didn't even use these blankets, so I don't know why they're there. I am really feeling the itch to just declutter my home right now, get everything all fresh and tidy for spring. So I'm going to move the couch out a little bit because I needed to get back there for painting the ceiling, but I also thought this would be a great time to clean the blinds and also the baseboards and just vacuum behind the couch because I never move that couch to vacuum behind it. Um, it wasn't too bad because we've only been here a year. The blinds were a little dusty, but we're just gonna take a few minutes and clean this space up. Thank you. 
I hope this inspires you to clean up your own living room or spaces in your home. Let's do this together and get our home looking fresh for springtime. The cleaning solution that I'm about to use is just a combination of a lot of water and a cap full of Thieves essential oil. I love this cleaner, it smells amazing. I am looking at another product that I might get for some cleaning solution. I will let you know if I get that and how I like it. So I'm just making sure everything is nice and fresh and my light is attached to Alexa, so all I have to do is tell her to turn on the living room light and that one turned on. You can also have Alexa turn on your lights when it starts getting dark outside. So some of my lights do that as well and that is a really nice feature to use. My kids love to take these pillows off of this chair and play around with the blankets, so I'm just gonna take a minute to straighten up over here. Now I could change out my pillows, but I'm actually loving the colors and the style right now. I am not ready to change out my pillows yet. So I'm just gonna straighten these ones up. I will do that to my couch later as well, but my kids play with these all the time, so they do get messed up. After this, we are going to move this chair and start cleaning the bookcases. I'll be honest, I do not dust these bookcases often at all. I never have. During my many years of owning homes, I just don't take the time to usually clean them, but we're gonna do that today. I am also going to take some of the decor off of the bookcases. I am just craving a very simple and subtle design style right now. I just have this less is more idea in my head and how I really want to be purposeful with the items that I bring into my home. So I am going to take the items that I'm unsure about or I feel like it's just a little too much clutter. I'm going to put them on my coffee table as I go through and dust. And that way I can see the ones that I don't want to use on my bookcase or maybe I'll do some rearranging and it will help me visualize the space better. I also have other areas of my home that I need to decorate so I can also use some of these things for those spaces or I can save them for a different time. I love changing out my decor so it's always nice to have items in the basement to use at a later date. One thing you won't see is quite often I do take my duster and go outside and shake it off, hit it against the side of the house so any dust does come off of it. The sconces up above are from Amazon. Those are battery operated sconces. I will turn those on at the end. I absolutely love those. I did have to spray paint those because the color that they came in wasn't my favorite. I found a pencil mark on one of my cabinet doors. I'm assuming it's from one of my kids. It did come off easily, but I just want to make sure that I take the time to clean every single space so that when this room is all done, I can feel really good about the progress that I made. And in just a moment, you will see right about here, I almost fell off the chair. 
scared me to death. <laughs> and then a second later, I started dancing. If you want to know what I was listening to, I was listening to Hanson. I am not afraid to admit it. I grew up in the late 80s and 90s and Hanson was a part of my life. It actually got me through a really tough time listening to that music. So I still love it and play it in my house. I also love to listen to crime podcasts. Crime Junkie, I actually like Dateline because at the end of each episode, you get a conclusion. You find out who did it, and usually they get justice. So I love Dateline listening to that. We might as well have fun while we're cleaning since we do it all the time. Let me know in the comments below if you listen to music or podcast or do something else while you're cleaning. What helps you make it fun? I am just going to finish up my second coat of paint over here. It is so nice to have this done. It was an eyesore staring at it all the time. And if it wasn't for you and this video, it probably would have sat there for a while longer. It is nice to have that checked off my list. All right, we're gonna come over here to this side of the bookcases, and I'll be honest, I was loving the right side of the bookcases from the moment I decorated them, but this left side has just not been my favorite. Something just has not been feeling right. So we're gonna take off quite a few pieces and see if I can play around with it. Maybe grab some things from the basement or a different room and just get some of the clutter out and reorganize it, redecorate it, and see if we can come up with something that looks a little bit better. Most of the decor pieces that you see are from Hobby Lobby, Target, or at home. There may be a thing or two from Amazon. I will link to what I can in the description below. So in that cabinet right there, I put the remote for the fireplace as well as the battery sconces. Just to keep them out of the way, it's really easy to just reach in there and grab those most of those cupboards, they are for extra storage, but I really don't have much in them, which is really nice. That means that I have a lot of storage in other places of my home. So these are the items that I took off and that I'm just kind of unsure about right now. I am going to take these and move them into my dining room just so I can think about them. I might use a few pieces in here still, but this is where we're at right now. So what you see up there is everything that I love and want to keep in that particular space. That was a nice little magic trick, wasn't it? It would be great if that happened in real life and things just took care of themselves. So I'm going to take a few minutes here and clean the table off with little kids and food and feet. It needs to be cleaned off. 
And then as soon as I was done, Margot decided it would be fun to go up there. She is adorable. She is about a year and a half old. She is fully grown. Margot is a Cavapoo. So she is a combination of a mini poodle and a Cavalier King Charles. She is adorable. I'm gonna take a minute here to clean the blinds. I never do this. I don't know, it just does not seem like something that's fun. And I'll be honest, I did my best here, but I think taking a wet rag and standing on a stepladder and really getting in between them will be my next step. I don't feel like the dusting did the best job. we are done with behind the couch so I'm going to push this couch back to where it was I'm going to straighten out the pillows I am also going to take the blankets and give them a good wash I try to wash them once a month or just whenever they're starting to kind of feel a little bit dirty from food being on them but I need to probably wash those a little bit more often than I should but that's just a nice spring cleaning idea to get your blankets washed for a fresh start. I think vacuuming and mopping are my favorite cleaning chores. I just love the difference that they make. You can usually see the vacuum lines on carpets and rugs. And after you mop, all the little footprints and the grime on the floors are gone. They do take a bit of time to do, but those are my favorite cleaning chores. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cleaning chore is. Margo is always by my side. If I am up doing something, she is following me around. So you will probably see her in a lot of my videos. When I finally sit down for the day, that's when she sits down and rests. So she is usually by my side following me around. Some of Margot's toys live here in the living room and the rest are in a basket in my office. So I was just going through and picking out the ones she likes the most to keep in here. And of course she sees the other ones and had to bring one back. <laughs> but the neat thing about the coffee table that I have is I can kind of hide the toys. I will actually end up putting them on a different side so from this angle, you won't be able to see them when I move them later. But that is the neat thing about that coffee table is they can hide things in those little compartments down there. This wicker basket hides some of our blankets when we're not using them. I just keep it on the side of the couch for now. I'm also not going to put the leather poof back in here right now. I'm gonna keep it in my office for a little bit and see how I like it. So I'm going to keep the decor on this table simple. I had a taller plant here and my kids could barely see over it when they were watching TV. 
So I just took the one that I had up on the bookcases and put that back on the coffee table and a simple candle. Like I said, I just want to declutter and keep things simple right now. I am going to dust off the frame TV. We will actually change that picture out in just a moment. And I'm gonna clean off the glass on my fireplace. My kids do a great job at not touching this. It's also electric, so it doesn't get warm. Um, it does have an option for a little heater on it, but we never really use it. And I love this thing. I will link it in the description below. It does a ton of different colors and I have this thing on all the time. Let's take a minute to change out the picture on this TV. Winter time is starting to be over with and I just wanted something more fresh, maybe a little moody. I was just craving some change and that is the one thing I love about the frame TV. It's an art piece and a TV in one. So I'm just gonna go through some of the ones that I already have uploaded and just kind of see what fits my mood right now. And honestly, let's go back. I am loving this one. I love the dark moody colors. It's still fairly overcast outside often here in Indiana. So I am going to pick that one for now. We are just about done. So we're gonna light the candle and I'm gonna give you a little tour of the finished space. loved making this video for you. I absolutely love these clean, organized, and decorate videos. They're some of my favorite things to do. I hope that this inspires you to get your spaces in your home cleaned, and we can even do cleaning together. And I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I will be back here soon with another new video.